Gate. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. According to Statista Report 2021, the population growth rate in Nigeria is 3.2%. It is therefore projected that by 2050, the population will be double with 402 million citizens. This will make Nigeria the third most populous country in the world after China and India. This growing population will not just create entrepreneurial business opportunity, but it will also create challenges for entrepreneurs to meet the need for the growing and dynamic market. Therefore, there is a need for more entrepreneurs in Nigerian society. Moreover, one of the Nigerian regions called Northeast Nigeria, it has been grappled with Boko Haram insurgency, which has disrupted, which has been disrupting their education system. And it was found that education system is a useful tool for creating and grooming entrepreneurs. My name is Theonis Man Shimwe. I'm going to take you through my paper presentation on investigating the level of entrepreneurial orientation and desire for self-employment of students in selected tertiary institutions, Northeast Nigeria. After the end of this presentation, you're able to understand the level of entrepreneurial orientation of students before and after taking entrepreneurship modules. Describe the impact of entrepreneurial orientation on desire for self-employment. Understand those factors that affect entrepreneurial orientation of student in touch institution in Northeast Nigeria. The content of my presentation is from introduction to suggestion for further research. Globally, entrepreneurial education has been found to be a crucial factor for developing entrepreneurial orientation. In terms of Nigerian context, entrepreneurial orientation development has emerged as an important agenda in developing a nation. Therefore, in 20, 2006, in 2006, presidential directives were given to all tertiary institutions in Nigeria to introduce entrepreneurship education into their curriculum. Despite the fact that the entrepreneurial orientation has been very researched in developed nations, but it is still very few and emerging in developing nations. Also, previous empirical study in the developing nation has been has also produced mixed findings. In terms of Northeast Nigeria, this is the first study that evaluate the level of entrepreneurial orientation in tertiary institutions. Therefore, this study will try to understand to what extent has the goal of incubating entrepreneurial orientation in students has been achieved and how it can be improved. Research revealed that mid 1983 and Dress Rupin 1996 has operationalized entrepreneurial orientation. It was found that students who are provided with extracurricular activity expect high level of entrepreneurial orientation. Tatira and Down 2012 also found that the level of entrepreneurial orientation of students uh, differ according to their academic programs. It was also found that for an organization or for a country to achieve the high level of entrepreneurial orientation, there is a need to intensify the integration of entrepreneurship. In terms of challenges or issues that to be addressed that were mentioned in the literature review, there is a need to enable teachers and also there is a need to address the issue of infrastructure deficits. Also, there is a need to address the issue of social environment, which was found to be 
affecting factor affecting the relationship among entrepreneurial orientation and entrepreneurial purpose. This is the method and data collection that were used. Generally, the data were collected from three categories of, of tertiary institution in Nigeria, American University of Nigeria, Federal College of Education, and State Polytechnic Yura. So the data were analyzed using software SPSS version 20, and the validity and reliability of the questionnaire or the search estimate were measured. Uh, this table shows the desire to be self-employed after graduation before taking entrepreneurship modules. It shows that 90%, no, 33.9, 33.9, 33.9% 33 of respondents are at low extent and below. Uh, this table, after a student taking entrepreneurial entrepreneurship modules, it shows that 100% of respondents they are from extent average extent and above. So therefore, you will see that the ANOVA confirmed that there is a significant difference between the desire for entrepreneurial for self employment after graduation before and after taking entrepreneurship modules. Uh, this table are trying to show the result on the impact of entrepreneurial orientation on desire for self-employment before and after taking entrepreneurship modules. The result shows that innovation and proactive innovation and proactiveness they have both positive impact. Innovation, proactiveness and the competitiveness, they have positive impact, but it is only proactiveness that has a significant positive impact, while risk-taking has negative impact, but it is not significant. After taking entrepreneurial orientation, uh, entrepreneurship modules, the result shows that uh, innovation and the proactiveness, they have positive impact but or and they are significant but this taking and competitiveness they have negative impact but they are not significant uh, this can be as a result of the factor that we find to be were found to affect entrepreneurial orientation in tertiary institution in northeast nigeria the internal factor that we found one is qualified teachers, lack of qualified teachers of entrepreneurship. The second one was business, lack of business in extracurricular activity in school, and also lack of reading material and technical expert. These are the external factors that were identified to affect entrepreneurial orientation, electricity, financial resources, legal provision for startup business in Nigeria, corruption and security, high cost of production, and we cannot forget poor buyer behavior toward made in Nigeria product. Conclusion, based on the finding of this research, the entrepreneurial orientation of students has been improved after taking entrepreneurship modules. Generally, entrepreneurship orientation has a significant impact on desire for safe employment, but it is not effective due to the stated factor affecting entrepreneurial orientation. Innovation and proactiveness has impacted student desire for safe employment significantly, but tertiary institutions need to focus more on improving student mindset on risk taking and competitiveness. The contribution, this research generally has added knowledge to has added knowledge to the literature it was also the, the questionnaire that was used in this research was developed based on the operational variable developed by mire and dress which can be used for further investigation investigating the level of entrepreneurial orientation provide empirical insight into challenges of new business idea implementation in nigeria 
For researchers, the strategy can be used to find the critical area that were not explored. Therefore, the new approach on increasing the level of entrepreneurial orientation may be arrived at. A recommendation in generally, this researcher, this research recommend to address the factor that were identified to be affecting entrepreneurial orientation in tertiary institutions, both internal and external factors. So, suggestion for further research, qualitative research process can give more insight on entrepreneurial orientation. There is a need also to check the level of entrepreneurial orientation based on gender. Also, conducting this research in different parts of the country, it can be very useful, especially in other emergency regions. Also, as we stated that this is a first study on entrepreneurial orientation in Northeast Nigeria, there is a need for replication to see the, the difference or if there is any similarity in the findings. Thank you so much. If you have any question or comment, you are welcome. Thank you.